So general conductive electricity. In the previous video, we have discussed about the series connection. Today, I am going to discuss about the parallel connection. In parallel, what is parallel connection? So in parallel is very very interesting topic. In parallel, all the positive terminals are connected to one end. All the negative terminals are connected to another end. All positive terminals to one end. All negative terminals to another end. Okay, suppose these are the batteries. All positive terminals are connected to one end. All the negative terminals are connected to another end. That is called parallel connection. If resistors are there, imagine three resistors: R one, R two, R three are connected in parallel. All these are connected to one. All these are connected to another one. A battery of potential. A battery of potential V, which delivers a current I. The current I, after coming here, divides into I one, I two, I three. The current after coming here divides into I one, I two, I three. But all of them are in same junction. All of them are in same junction. So potential remains constant. Unlike in series, current was constant, potential is different. Here potential is constant because all of them are in same junction. Junction is not changing because junction is not changing. Potential is constant. Current is different. So the total current I divided into I one, I two, I three. Again they combine to form I. So total current I is equal to I one plus I two plus I three. I three. According to Ohm's law, we you know I is equal to V by R. V by R. I one is equal to V1 by R, V by R, V by R2, two V by R3. We are not writing V1, V2, V3 because potential is same, constant. Potential is constant. Constant. Cancelling potential on both sides, children. We will get one by resistance in parallel is equal to one, one by R1 plus one by R2 plus one by R3. One by R3. You can extend this to any number of cases. If suppose all resistors are same value, then One by R three we can write that if one is there one by if two are there two by ten are there ten by hundred are there hundred by n are there n n by R reversing both the cases that is total R P is equal to R by n is the formula if all of them are same and children in children see here here overall area is increasing which is becoming thicker in series the overall length was increasing in parallel. Overall area is increasing because thickness is increasing. So we know resistance is inversely proportional to area. If area is increasing, resistance decreases. So in parallel, what happens in parallel, children? Overall resistance, resistance decreases. Overall resistance decreases, and the overall resistance will be less than the least resistance. Overall resistance will be less than the least resistance. Less than the least means what, sir? You know. With one numerical ratio, children. Imagine two ohm. Imagine four ohm. Imagine ten ohm are connected in parallel. What is effective resistance? One by two, one by four, one by ten. What is the LCM, children? Twenty. Two ten that twenty. Four five that ten six. One by R T total in parallel connection is. So seventeen by twenty. Don't forget to reciprocal that. So R P is equal to twenty by seventeen, approximately one point zero. Children, approximately one point one 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 point one point one something. One point one. This answer is less than the least. In series, it was more than the most. In the This one only children. Suppose if I can two four two four ten two plus four plus ten is how much children? Sixteen. Sixteen is highest than the sixteen uh, uh, is more than the highest. Whereas here one point one is less than the least. Sixteen is more than the highest in series. Whereas here in parallel one point one is less than the least. Less than the least. Less than the least. Okay, children. Less than the least. So this is parallel connection. You will know? do some quick numericals, then you will have a clear understanding. Understanding numericals is very very important. If you know the theory, then only you can do the numerical, fast numerical, very very interesting one. All of it is easier, children. Suppose 
is a supply is a 5 ohm, 10 ohm, 15 ohm. All are connected in parallel to a battery of 16 volt. My question are what is total resistance? What is total current? What is current across 5? What is current across 10? What is current across 15? What is current uh, potential across 5? What is potential across 10? What is potential across 15? On sample, what we do, what is heat across 5 and what is power across 5? Sample. So, children, total resistance, how do you find out, children? 1 by R is equal to 1 by 5, 1 by 10, 1 by 50. What is LCM? 30. Okay, children. So, 5 6 are 30, 10 3 are 30, 15 2 are 30. So, 1 by R is equal to 11 by 30. Reciprocal on base surface, 30 by 11 meters. Total resistance is 30 by 11. Total resistance is 30 by 11. What is total current, children? I is equal to? V by R. V by R. V is how much, children? 60. And R is how much, children? 30 by 11. 7 is of small 7 meters. 22 amperes of current is going to the circuit, children. 22 amperes. Okay, children. And V5, V10, V15. All of them are same 60 volt because in parallel battery potential is circuit potential. In parallel battery potential is circuit potential. In parallel battery potential is circuit potential. So V5, V10, V15 are 60 volt. They are also 60 only, they are also 60 only, they are also 60 only voltage. Coming to current I5, V by R5. I10, V by R10. I10. V by R10. V by R10. I15. V by R15. V by R15. So I10 means uh, I okay I5 children. What is V children? What is V children? 60 by 5. That is 12 amperes. Out of 22, 12 amperes will go here, children. Those who enter the question, again, I'm saying here. Out of uh, 60 by 15, how much is 4 amperes? Out of 22, 4 is going here, children. 4 is going here. Okay, and the last one, children, this one is how much, children? 60 by 10, and 6 is coming here, children. 6 and 6 is coming. Anyone hand me out, children? 15, 4, sir. 10, 6, sir. And 5, 12, sir. Okay. So, children, this is taking 12. This is taking 4, this is taking 6. 12 plus 4 plus 6 is again 22 will come out. So 22 and uh, so like this. Okay, no sir, we are getting confusion. One more numerical exercise, children. Don't worry. These numericals are very, very easy, children. Very, very easy. So one more numerical and then clearly I will show you all of the things in here, children. 2 ohm, 4 ohm, 6 ohm are connected. To a battery of to a battery of 24 volt. 24 volt. Okay, children. Or else we'll take 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Question: What is total resistance? What is total current? Total current. What is potential across 2? What is potential across 4? What is potential across 6? What is current across 2? What is current across 4? What is current across 6? How do you find total resistance in them? Anyone? 1 by R is equal to? 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6. 1 by 6 plus 2, 4, 6 LCM children? 12, 12. 6. 2, 6 are 12. 4, 3 are 12. 6, 3 are 12. So 1 by R is how much children? 10 by 12. 11 by 12. So R is equal to 12 by 11 volts. Now children, what is potential here, here, here? Potential is yeah. same, that is 48 volt. In parallel, potential is constant. In parallel, potential is constant. In parallel, potential is constant. constant. Now, current across, uh, total current, I is equal to V by R total. So, what is V, children? What is V? 48. V is 48 volt. What is total resistance, children? 12 by 11. 11. So, 
So thank you so much. Sir. 